Mann's newest concept for the future of autonomous driving. Cedric, as in self-driving car, get it? Is fully autonomous, meaning it has no steering wheel or pedals, and it can be summoned at the push of a button for ride-hailing trips, a la Uber and Lyft. VW claims that Cedric is the first vehicle to be designed for fully autonomous driving from scratch. Of course, it's important to note that Cedric is just a concept, meaning it does not exist anywhere but in the imaginations of a few VW engineers and designers. Which may explain why Cedric looks so angry. VW says it's using Cedric to highlight the importance of self-driving vehicles to the future of the company. The accompanying press materials are an alphabet soup of buzzwords like individual mobility, sustainability, and cross-brand ideas platform. But it's hard to pay attention to that when this thing looks so much like a pissed-off toaster. Next is an advanced smart transportation system based on swarms of modular self-driving vehicles, designed in Italy. Each module can join and detach with other modules on standard city roads. When joined, they create an open, bus-like area among modules, allowing passengers to stand and walk from one module to another. The modules can drive autonomously on regular roads, join themselves and detach even when in motion, and that when joined, the doors between modules fold, creating a walkable open space among modules. These key features are the reason why this project is radically different and not comparable to other projects such as, folding cars, Rico and similar, Brinspeed Micromex and any other modular road train system based on new railways, dedicated infrastructures or on the locomotive followers paradigm. The vehicle, which founders call a T-Pod is the first truck to be designed to never have a human inside. The driverless design makes it possible, this startup says, to run fully on electric power in a way that can compete with diesel semis on the road today. Without windows or a separate cab, the truck looks essentially like an aerodynamic white box with wheels. Since a truck hauling 20 tons of freight needs a lot of energy to move, it has to stop fairly frequently to charge. The teapot can make it 124 miles before it is to plug in again. This is a UK first. This is the first time we've had a vehicle driving driverless in a public environment. Wow, absolutely no hands. Wow, amazing. I'd probably be pressing pedals and, you know, very backseat driver sort of approach. These are really driverless. There is a steering wheel in the vehicle for safety reasons, but this is uh, really autonomous control where the system is thinking for itself. So as it's driving, it has some cameras on the front and it's taking pictures 20 times a second in very high resolution. And it also has a few lasers that are spinning very fast as well. So it's using both pictures and laser light to see what's around it. If it doesn't like any of those things or it thinks that it should give way to someone, it will pause, wait for that person or object to move or that cyclist or that dog, wait for it to pass and then move on, getting you from A to B. It has been tested extensively, so safety has been our primary consideration throughout this project. In the UK, approximately 1,700 people, unfortunately, uh, are killed on the roads each year. Over 90% of road accidents are caused in some way by human error. These systems have the opportunity of reducing that risk of human error enormously. Our next step is to develop a, a test fleet of around 40 vehicles to, to mimic a public transport system for the city centre. In the middle of next year we'll be rolling out the, the vehicle as a fleet and asking people to come and use them and, and test the capability to see if it can really enhance the city.